Utrecht did three albums in three nights at some theatre in Rockford. Sparks last year did all 21 of their albums, 20 of them at the Carlin Academy. I was there for two or three nights. And that was an unbelievable achievement. And I thought well, there's somewhere in between that. <laughs> For a start, we've only got 12 albums, so we can't do 20 yet. So we'll do one night of Spark songs and yeah, one night of Cheap Tricks songs. <laughs> but there's, there's maybe at some time in our career, it will be a good idea to take time out to do something like that. But the reason, again, one of the things that we often get asked, especially in Europe, is like, why is there no live album? Why is there no live album? It's because whenever we finish playing, the last thing we want to do is just weed through 200 hours worth of what we've just been doing for a year, when we've got all these new ideas that we want to keep writing. It's so much more fun than if it was us and, and six other bands that sounded like us. This, this is the way it should be. When I first, the first festival I ever saw, albeit on video, was Woodstock. And they had like, um, what, we had Hendrix, The Who, Richie Havens, Jefferson Starship, or Airplane as it were back then. Yeah. There was like a Joe Cocker, there was blues, there was rock, there was acoustic stuff, there were black artists, there were white artists, there were Hispanics, uh, Santana were on, I believe. That, that's brilliant. I think it's, you know, it's more open-minded. I think, you know, if, the, if, you, if music can be educational, surely uh, somebody comes and says, I didn't really think I was going to like that band, but I'm going to buy their record tomorrow, then it's a service as well, you know? It's one of the hardest decisions that we have to make. It really is, because if you polled every Leopard fan on the way out and said, were you happy with what they played? Some would just say, oh, we still played blah, blah, blah. And then it, you'd come up with an entire different set. You know, people want us to play B-sides and stuff like that. You, you've got to be careful. You can't pander to the minority.